Smooth Transitions version 1. Let's go. So yeah, I created a smooth transition preset pack with 10 transitions in it and it is completely free the download link is in the description so if you know how presets work feel free to download it and exit the video and if not i will quickly show you how to use the presets navigate to the link in the description you will arrive at this onedrive page where there is a preset file click on it right click and then download once it is done downloading it will appear in your downloads folder on your pc to get the presets into premiere Go to Presets, right click, Import Presets, and navigate to where you downloaded it to. Then just double click it, and now it's in Premiere. It will appear under Presets, and then Julius Sorensen Smooth Transitions V1 2022. Preset pack is divided into three subcategories. Those are slides, spins, and zooms. The first part of the effect is what the transition does. And the second part is how many frames it requires. All of these transitions work on adjustment layers. So if it says 714, that means you need an adjustment layer, which is 7 frames before your cut and 14 frames after your cut. Let me show you. So navigate to your project, right click, new item, adjustment layer, and hit OK. Drag an adjustment layer on top of your sequence, like so. Just navigate to where they meet. Let's do the slide down. That says 714, so I'm going to go 7 frames to the left. I can go 5 by holding down shift and pressing the left arrow key. And I'm going to press the left arrow key twice. That is 7. I'm going to drag it, then I'm going to go to the middle again. And I'm going to go 14 to the right. I do that by holding down shift and pressing the right arrow key three times. One, two, three. There's 15 and then once to the left. That's 14. I will select my cut tool, just remove the rest of it. And then as simple as this, just drag it on top of your adjustment layer. And you have this transition now. Beautiful, easy as that. Let's try another one. So the 180 degrees spin right, it says 10, 10. That means we need 10 frames to the left and 10 frames to the right, like so. And just apply that. Now you have a 180 degree zoom, simple as that. Finally, let's do a zoom. Let's do the zoom in, 7, 7. Seven frames to the left. Seven frames to the right. I'm just gonna apply that. Have the zoom. But anyways, I guess that was all I had for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and find this preset pack useful. If you end up downloading it or just enjoyed this video, then I would really appreciate a like and a subscribe. I have a lot of preset packs upcoming in the future, which will also be free, as well as a bunch of tutorials for Premiere Pro, After Effects, Photoshop, and Adobe Illustrator planned. But take care, guys. Bye-bye.